Hey guys, if you have ever visited the CodePen website, then you must have seen this beautiful create button and that's what we are going to do in this video. So as you can see, this is the button we are going to create. That is the create button. And if we hover over this button, we have a beautiful animation going from right to left. That is the gradient animation. So let's see how it is done inside CodePen itself. So let's create an anchor element with a class of CodePen button. And let's say it has a text of awesome button like this. Now let's go into our CSS and we'll give our HTML and body a height of 100% and our body a margin of 0. Display it as flex so that our button is centered inside the viewport. Justify content center, align items center, and its background to be black. Now the code pen uses this font called Lato. So we can get that font from Google Fonts. Select this font and expand this. And here on the import tab, we can click this, uh, we can select this import URL and going back here and inside the CSS, we can paste this import here and we can choose the font family view from here itself. And in the body, we can give it a font family of Lato. Now let's style our code pen button class. So it's font size to be 3 rem. Text decoration to be none. That is we get rid of that underline. Now we give it a background color of black. It's text color to be white. And we'll display it as block. Box sizing to be border box so that the padding and the margin is included. Padding to be one rim. Border radius to be eight pixel. And we'll transform the text to uppercase. Text transform uppercase. So if we just remove the body background color that is the black, just comment it out. We can see that our anchor tag looks like this right now. So now let's style the pseudo before element of this class. Now we want a linear gradient of that code pen button. So how do we get that linear gradient? So we go to this website codepen.com and if we right click on this create button and we inspect it and if we expand this button and we click on before, we can get the background from here. That is the linear gradient. We just copied that from there. Now back here in our before pseudo element, we give it a background of that linear gradient which we have copied from there. Now let's make its background size to be 200%. Its content to be an empty content so that the before element is displayed. Z index to be minus 1 because we want it to be behind the anchor tag. Let's give it a height of 100% plus 8 pixels. So we want a 4 pixel border all around the button. So we can use a calc method here. 100% plus 8 pixel and its width to be calc 100% plus 8 pixels. And we need to provide that code pen button a position of relative so that we can place the before element absolutely to that code pen button. So position to be relative 
and its position the before elements position to be absolute so now we can see that pseudo element now we give it a top of minus 4 pixel and a left of again minus 4 pixel and we give it a border radius border radius of 8 pixel again like that now let's change our body background to black again so it's clearly visible so we have already completed the code pin button now only remaining thing is the animation thing so add keyframes anim and we want to animate the background position at 0% it is background position is at 0% and at 100% the background position needs to be at 200% Now let's apply the animation when we hover over the sunker tag. So dot quote pen button on hover. We want to style the pseudo element that is the before element before and we need to give it an animation of anim of 1.5 second linear and infinite. So now if we hover over this button we can see that our animation is going on. So that's all about this video. If you have liked the video, do hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed till now, do subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can support me on patreon.com forward slash truly I'll provide the link in the description below. So thank you. Bye bye. Tata. Take care. Have a good day.